Good evening folks, this is Darth Rabbit 07 Country tonight with another quick video review and a spirit of all cool things coming out, Bumblebee movie and the uh, rest of the kingdom stuff coming out. Got some more studio series, got my hands on some more studio series. None other than the classically animated excellent version of Cup from the buzzworthy Bumblebee 8602BB line and we're gonna go around the box art there there's that familiar looking face there and of course what's big time different if you want to pause it and read that you can but we don't all know the story or whatnot that is a beautiful thing in both modes so I've already got them out of the boxes you've already seen also want to point out this one other feature here with the box these boxes are smaller Still got the big plastic chunk there and held by plastic bits all through there. And I thought that these little cutouts were going to, you know, have all these nasty, gnarly holes in it. But lo and behold, behind it, you have a cutout that has no damage whatsoever. So you got more cardboard, more cardboard, and some more plastic. <laughs> so I don't know if they ever get super eco friendly here, but I'm glad that we don't got a gaping hole in our, our backdrop for the parts and the holes there. So there's your backdrop, and here's the star of the show. There's Cup in his vehicle mode, looking excellent. I'm gonna get rid of all this stuff now that we've done this. And like I was saying, here is Cup. We're gonna do a little quick 180 around the, the spot lock here, and there's his little bow damage windshield. That's a solid piece instead of a clear piece like with the other one. Uh, there's the other side and whatnot. Aft and that. And here's the other guy that preceded him. And here are the boys right here. And we're going to zoom in. Maybe not so much. Zoom back. Let's just hunker down right here. One more. There, that's better. And we can see how the differences stack up you know on the side profile this is all lightened up there and this is the same color almost throughout and now that I got it on camera look you can see the differences there but to my naked eye it doesn't really pick up that good that or I'm getting older and getting blinder uh, here on the front is the other noticeable differences I didn't mind this at all but now that I've got this in hand I absolutely adore this and there's that, and if you notice that the black wheels have that ugly, gaudy thing, I really am over. Well, it can't point to the back, but here, this is this is the ugliest bit on both of these vehicle modes to me. It's the no hubcap thing when you got somebody as pretty as Cliff Jumper and it's designed better. This could have been like a fill-in or whatever, something best. There's gonna be a better practice for it. Here's a look at the bottoms, and as you can see. You got the black wheels versus the gray wheels and some more battle scarring there tempoed in. This is the clean version. Uh, and I do like having both. I like having the animated clean version and I like the studio series uh, initial release there. They had a plus, but then there's those awful waffles, guys. I just really wish that the engineers would, you know, clean those up all together. And with that said and done, there's not a much difference there in the back. I really do need to take the red paint and detail in the tail lights there on the bottom. Uh, they were not selfish with paint, obviously, because they both got it, you know, to a degree in different spots. But that's about going to do it for the vehicle mode. Let's get this guy transformed. Boom. And there you have them both in their robot modes and I gotta say guys I still like this guy but I really love this guy the paint detail is so great on the eyes let's uh, get a closer look here and look at those eyes and you can see that there's light piping on the right hand side there and there is the painted eyes there uh, then you got the, all the detail on the chest that just looks immaculate on the new animated repaint the tempo looks great uh what else is there to say i like that the wheels are gray now and uh everything cleans up pretty nice until you get to looking at the back side of the figures and stuff you got some muffling there on the sides there at the backpack but the backpack does clean up nice on both of these figures give me just a moment here this 
cup on the right wants to wibble wobble and there's the back side there's some I just wish they would stop doing the waffling especially when we're moving into a line called legacy and it's the legacy of the transformers you can see the clear light pipe it on the back of the head there that's a solid piece there because it is painted over on the eyes also of note is that there's awful waffles there on the underside of the wrist and you got your peg holes but they managed to make the feet hollow there on the bottom that's just your side to side comparison versus uh old versus new there and uh he's a flinty old warrior and some final thoughts an old timer i'll probably never be because i keep stressing out it's either we need to do the good paint effects or stick with the light pipe when it comes to the head stuff and or clear versus solid i mean let's just stick with the tune accurate stuff guys moving forward i'm hoping that somebody at hasbro will watch one of our videos out here because i'm not the only one that's saying these kind of things you always need a wrist swivel there's no reason on earth why there couldn't be a wrist swivel i do love that the parts are still true that there's pegs for the arms and the legs so you can recreate any of the scenes you want to from the movie in your dioramas or whatever kind of collection on the shelf however you got it set up whatnot i really like it when the light piping hits that guy's eyes and lights up pretty clear blue a lot of people don't like the head so you know let's get tune accurate the first time let's not keep making stuff and having to buy it again and i can see here that this is painted but it, like it looks like it's gray on the inside and then they used a whole other anyway it's just you know some inconsistencies there's the the tire differential and whatnot but if you got to choose one, if you ain't got this guy, you want to go for this guy. This is part of the Buzzworthy Bumblebee uh, lineup. Its number, its designation is 02BB, uh, A602BB. And uh, thanks again to Hasbro, you know, for making these repaints and kind of answering what the fans want. And I mean, I like Club. It was a no-brainer out of if I found one figure on the shelf I was definitely going to get that one but I really do like the cliff jumper as well this guy I highly recommend this just looks really really beautiful to what you have in the movie there thanks again for watching and staying with me for seven minutes of your time and uh, basically go out there and get this guy if you can I'm gonna add the DPCI back down in the description below there for those that are looking and also know that if you find this, this guy you're gonna also find the bubble bee uh, movie figures that are also out along with Perceptor from the 86 movie I'm gonna try to get Perceptor next thanks again for tuning in and watching make sure to smash that like button subscribe to my channel if you're in a position to help the channel grow please donate to my patreon as it will help me buy more of this awesome stuff and i want to do this for the rest of my life i don't want to do a whole lot else this is fun this is great and i hope to get my man cave cleaned out and get that stuff in the shelving situation so I can show the shelf Sundays off in, 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 the, in the lair of Darth Ravage. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. Till all are one. Have a great weekend out there. Thanks again.